Hello students, how are you all? So let's begin with a grammar question. Here we have article. So students, this is the first video for a ninth standard. Okay, after a uh, after of regular classes. So here you have 20 days vacation. So utilize this vacation for a betterment of your grammar or uh, vocabulary. So here we have grammar article. Okay, and let's begin with this. So here we are going to learn about article. Okay, and this article is divided among two parts, means two types. Let's have a look over it. First we have definite article, and another we have indefinite article. What do you mean by definite? It means a specific, a real one, a real thing. And what about indefinite? indefinite means it is unspecific unreal or unreal it is indefinite here so here we have for definite let's say it has a formal one and indefinite let's say it is an informal okay so here we have some articles which is divided among these two types so the article the is always specific which is always used in definite article and here we have a and an it is always used in indefinite article this is what about a basic rule of article here in the previous picture we have seen articles is divided among two types uh, specific and unspecific or definite or indefinite so let's begin uh, how to use the articles in the specific one and the unspecific one so here we have articles okay articles we have which is divided among a and and the okay so here it is divided let's say let's say a and an and the here we have use a and for one out of many so what do you mean use a or an for one out of many let's this is divided among two columns this is column one and column two here the column one says use a when the noun begins with a consonant so what it says when the noun begins with a consonant okay the name of a person please think or a okay area or a monument the whatever the names it begins with a consonant sound it means it starts with without vowels whatever the remaining letters without vowels uh, these sounds are called consonants so here article we have a or a a should be used in front of a noun uh, the sounds begin of consonant the name of a person and his okay and his the first letter of his name begins with a consonant then we can use a article in front of that word for example we have here they given us an example a bag what it is a bag a cat can you differentiate in between a bag and cat and why we have used a here in front of them c b a g bag the first letter b is a consonant it is not an vowel it is not an a e i o u it is a b so b sounds here okay unfamiliar and unspecific is it so back a back that's why we have used a article in front of back the same thing we have cat okay cat what it means it also begins with a letter which sounds like a consonant so it is a cat a cat yes so here we have some exceptions okay exceptions what they says when the vowel u sounds like y o u yes we have to take care about this when the vowel sound u when it sounds like long u while pronunciation some words like university unique universal when the long u is used here then we should use compulsory a article rather than 
an article so here you have a exception case it is an rule of okay that on specific article rule of indefinite article when u is playing a role of consonant sound see here a university a university so here the first word is coming out and after u there is an i b e r so these all are consonant sound yes or no so u is not coming out of the mouth so it is now it is not getting pronounced here that's why we are going to use a article in front of university now again we have utensils okay yo is not coming out so loudly it is not so dominative here in this word so which word is coming out uh, this utensils t is coming out the pronunciation is t first so that's why we have used here article a okay so these are some rules okay while using a in front of these kind of words we starts with yo a vowel letter yo but sounds like consonants then we have to use here a article because a is always mentioned for consonant sounds and a, an article is always mentioned for vowel sound now let's begin with another column this is column number 2 what it says here use an when the noun begins with a vowel so here we have a combination of two letters a plus n it is an and when to use this article when the noun begins with a vowel sound do you know vowel a e i o u etc these are vowel sounds okay from 26 alphabets so remaining 21 are a consonants okay in front of consonants what we have discussed a should be used and in front of the vowel sound or in front of the vowel noun we should compulsory use an article without fail let's we have one example here okay an apple an apple so here we have the word apple okay it is a fruit and it's begin with a and a pronounced here so loudly so that's why we we should use an apple okay instead of a so whatever the pronunciation is coming out of the mouth if it is vowel sound then we should use an again we have another one an umbrella okay an umbrella so u is coming out more so the pronunciation is u so loudly so we should use an umbrella okay rather than a umbrella so it, the correct form is an umbrella fine now here we have some rules for this column what it says when the consonant h is silent when the consonant h is silent for example and our and our okay so here which word is coming out o u r the combination of o u is coming out of the mouth first so h is silent here so that's why we should use an our okay and honor and honor honor means uh, a respect a tribute given to a person for his achievement is it or no so h is a consonant it is not coming first what is coming and honor o n o r combination of this is coming first so its pronunciation is somehow vowel vowel in nature so that's why we should use an article in front of this and an an our and honor so it will tells some basic rules of these two columns and how to use a article and an article okay so what we have discussed here about the unspecific about an def, indefinite article now let's begin with definite article what it says so here we have definite article here use the for a specific item okay so what do you mean by specific has we revised in the previous uh, screen so specific means a very important significant essential and it only signifies for only one individual not more than one or not more than two or not more than individual so it is only one so it should be a specific one where we were, we are hundred percent sure okay there were no doubts at all a specific one yes this is a person whom i seen yesterday and it is a specific this is what it happens in our daily life so to something mentioning specific we should use the article the article okay so let's begin how to use this article with some examples here okay the umbrella in the back so here they have used this article two times in a sentence 
द अम्ब्रेला इन द बैक द अम्ब्रेला इन द बैक सो देर इज ओनली वन अम्ब्रेला एंड देर इज ओनली वन बैक एंड द अम्ब्रेला इज इन साइड द बैग सो ही इज मैंशनिंग दैट देर इज ओनली वन अम्ब्रेला देर वर नॉट टू अम्ब्रेलास थ्री अम्ब्रेलास फोर अम्ब्रेलास ओनली वन अम्ब्रेला इज देयर इन साइड द बैग एंड द बैग इज ऑल्सो ओनली वन सो ही इज मैंशनिंग द अम्ब्रेला इन द बैग इट इज अ पेसिफिक फाइन द कैट इन द ट्री सॉरी द कैट ऑन द ट्री ओके इट इज मिस्टेकन हियर इन द स्क्रीन it is on the tree the cat on the tree there is only one cat and where it is on the tree is it so here the cat on the tree not in another tree so it is what the usage of the article for mentioning any specific okay which is only one an individual okay important and significant one and it can't be two or three or more than okay as or it can't be an infinity it should be only one and definite one so for this we should use an articles a and the so, so first we have discussed about unspecific indefinite articles and second we had discussed about specific and definite articles with some examples here also with some examples now let's begin uh, with another screen yes the next screen shows a stat the 11 rules of articles what it is the 11 important rules of the articles and while using this articles a and and the and how to use it and when to use it and where to use it this is what we have to keep it there in mind okay for a fix so this is what here the 11 rules of articles so first one one first one what it tells use the correct form so use the correct form what is the correct form first comes article okay and here we have plus sign then comes adjective what do you mean by adjective yes has we read in the class adjective means the thing which defines okay which tells about the noun and which gives the qualities to the noun and pronoun is called adjective okay for an example a beautiful flower okay a big building and here a wonderful monument like taj mahal so a beautiful big and wonderful what are they they are adjectives and they are defining to noun the name of the place adjective plus noun has they given here so it is a correct form of a sentence where you can put a article in front of it this is a first rule okay just memorize it and another second we have use a or an for non specific nouns okay for non specific nouns what it means for indefinite nouns which article we have to use has we discussed in previous screen that a or an it is compulsory here a friend okay a friend which friend it is a unspecific yes or no it is non specific so it is only a friend and answer which answer it is a question mark here now that's why an answer answer is a Okay, it is coming out of vowel sound. A is a vowel, and when we are pronouncing answer, A is coming out first. So that's why we have used an. A book. B is a consonant one. Is it consonant? It sound like consonant. And which book? And where it is kept? Not mention anything. A book. That is why it is considered here under unspecific or a non-specific. A book. Fine. So these are the two rules. Now comes to rule number three. Yes. use the for specific individual nouns use the for specific individual nouns okay what do you mean by specific individual nouns that a common noun given to a very important person let's say for example british prime minister so there is only one prime minister in the british not plenty of prime minister only one so we should use the british prime minister the car you drive the car you drive at that day so he is mentioning a car which is driving the car you drive so uh, the is used in front of a specific individual nouns or a specific individual by mentioning let's say we have only one principal in the school is it yes yes or no yes we have a one principal so while mentioning uh, somewhere the principal in the letter we should use compulsory the article the the principal kk english medium school etc etc this is what we have to mention because there is only one 
head of this institution so for mentioning anything specific and one we should use the now comes to fourth one what it says use a before a consonant sound as we read okay let's say a camera okay c is a consonant a big apartment b is a consonant a red box here r is a consonant so in front of them we have used a article now comes to fifth use an before a vowel sound yes this is what we have discussed before a vowel sound like a e i o u when it sounds like vowel before that we should use compulsory an article let's say an honest man an epic journey see which word is coming here first o is coming out of honest h is silent here that's why we have used an honest man an epic journey e is coming out of that's why an epic journey now sixth rule what it says omit articles for places and nationality uh, nationalities okay here omit means just take out the articles while using the places and nationalities in somewhere in the sentence let's say i am traveling to spain so in front of spain they didn't use any article so they were writing the spain in a capital letters as it is without any article she is french so uh, spain and the french spain is a place and uh, french is a name of the language which belongs to france so this is what while taking the name of this they are not using any articles so this is also we have to take care now comes to seventh rule use the with grouped place names so grouped place names do you know united kingdom okay it is a big province of many small small countries so they have used the because there is only one uk or throughout the world the republic of france many small provinces were made up made up of republic of france so that's why we have used the republic of france so what is the actual name of our country it is the republic of india so there were many states this many state signifies to one republic so it is a republic of india it means the republic of india there is only one india okay which is made up of republics which were made up of many several states so that's why we should use the article while uh, while uh, taking the name of uh, indian continent somewhere in the sentence we should use the article now what eighth rule says here omit articles with abstract ideas what do you mean by abstract ideas like say friendship is important like bravery is danger so this is what called abstract ideas where uh, one explanation is given there in the sentence with some belief some ideas for that we shouldn't use articles it should be written as it is okay now here we have ninth rule omit a and an with uncountable nouns do you know uncountable nouns which couldn't be counted like water milk okay liquid and air these are called uncountable nouns so they are not countable at all let's say for example we enjoy music in front of music music did they uh, used a or an no so that's why they are not used a and or an in uh, for uncountable nouns let's say when an, uh, another example i don't eat sugar so sugar is an uncountable noun we can't uh, count the small small cubes of each each sugar so it is uncountable here so that's why they didn't use a and an now comes to 10th rule what it says use the with specific uncountable nouns a specific uncountable noun for that we should use the let's say i like the music she is playing so he likes that music and it is played by whom if it if it knows to a person then he can use the music okay if he knows who is playing it okay this is what the 10th rule says now comes to 11th one omit or use the to change meaning okay for changing the meaning we can use the article let's say in front of university we should use a article because u is a silent here and is coming out of which is a consonant but if you are mentioning a name of the university okay by the word university the university of uh, uh, rani chinnamma the university of delhi the university of bangalore the university of uh, so and so so if you are mentioning the name of that university we should use the article okay which is a specific one which is the only one here in this country so this is all about the 11 rules of articles in the next class we will begin what your text book says about article okay so for the time being watch this video thoroughly and try to learn it thank you bye bye